Okay, so good morning. Today is Monday, April 20th. And a non-topical office hours today, so welcome. Alright, um, so I know pre-cal y'all have been used to getting lectures on Mondays, but I did post a schedule for the week on the Google Classroom, so let's go over it real quick. So we don't have anything to do today, you know, to anything formal, I guess. Uh, today, your exam opened, so this is the first exam of the sixth six weeks. There we are, okay. Uh, it's not due till Wednesday, so just like before, whenever we had our first exam, uh, you've got three days to get it done. Open today, due on Wednesday. I'll, I'll open it for you here in a second. And then uh, if you're doing the extra credit, if any of you are in the extra credit uh, groups, there's still roughly 22 of you that have made it so far and met both checkpoints, but number three is due today. One thing that I've noticed, um, a couple of people have turned it in early. But um, one of the main things about checkpoint number three, here, well, at least people have been emailing me. Yeah, only one person turned it in. But um, I've gotten several emails about when you're uh, making a hyperlink for the different things for your supplies list. If you're using anything like Walmart or Amazon or Tar I mean, really any of those, prices are going to fluctuate just because that's just how um, Amazon selling and whatever online selling works. So if your cents don't match up exactly, you know, to the nearest cent, that's okay. Um, as long as you're not off by like, a, like fifty percent, or they're having some, you know, like it, they're not advertising a sale yet, your price is off by over, you know, fifty percent. That I would actually like click and try to look at some price history and verify things. But I'm going to assume most of you just look up stuff on Amazon and then just put a link to it, and that's completely fine. All right, so checkpoint three due tonight if you are in the extra credit group. Um, here is exam number one for the six six weeks. Notice how it says six six weeks on it. So I posted it late last night. It is due on Wednesday. You've got a pre-AP version and you've got a regular version. Remember, pre-AP is all going to be in radians. Regular is all going to be in degrees. So the material that's covered, sum and difference formulas, double angle formulas, half angle formulas. And again, I didn't put the, the formula chart on here like I normally would just because you have all your notes and you're doing it at home. So I'm not too worried about that part. Uh, so the first nine are all going to just be find an exact value. So be sure you're giving me the actual square root solution. And then the last, the back half is going to be those triangle problems where you draw a triangle, reference angle, you know, Pythagorean theorem is involved and then use one of your formulas. Hey, be especially careful of the tangent ones just because they involve fractions. You have a fraction and a fraction. You want to simplify your whole answer. Okay. Uh, pre AP, your test looks really, really similar except you know a few of these numbers are a little less friendly for you because y'all can handle it and uh, everything is in radians for your whole test. So. Okay. Uh, I haven't graded these double and half angles yet. Uh, I'll be putting those grades in sometime either today or tomorrow. And y'all know, you know, you can turn stuff in basically as late as you need to. Uh, late penalty is going to apply, but i um, probably going to stop doing that at around like... I'm going to stop taking points off at a certain point because, you know, homework is 80% of your average. If I did the whole fi normal 50 thing that I would do in school, um, no one would pass. So... <laughs> That would not be great. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, only other announcement I have. Let me see if I have everything ready to pull up. Okay. Um, the other thing is, um, if y'all aren't familiar, our math club, Muafa Theta, every semester, so twice a year, we put on a you know ping pong tournament and a Super Smash Brothers tournament. We've been doing that for a few years now. Um, we obviously can't do ping pong because that would be impossible online. 
But we can do a Super Smash Brothers tournament. So if you look on the Twitter, on my Twitter timeline, if you haven't seen it before, here we go. Um, right here, the latest post I have uh, links to a Google form, and the Google form is right here. But if you are interested in playing, then uh, just fill out the Google form. I'll give it a few days. If we end up with anything close to like 16 people, 30 people, something like that, uh, I will be more than happy to host this tournament, and it would be completely free. There's no entry fee. There's no, you know, anything like that. Uh, mostly just like an outreach program. And hold on a second. I'll be right back. My kid is banging on the window. So one of my kids uh, locked himself in with the chickens in my backyard. So <laughs> I taught him to knock on my window if he gets stuck, because you can't open it from the inside. Okay. All right. So, anyways, yeah. So. Um, yeah, Wi-Fi tournament, people haven't, I mean, the if any of you actually play and follow any of the competitive stuff, they have been having online tournaments. I've been keeping up with it. I've been looking at it. I don't think it would be too hard to do, especially with a tournament as small as ours would be. Um, if we end up filling up with a whole 32 people, then I could see it taking about two days, but probably we could get it done in a day. And um, I just don't want to interrupt any final exam stuff or any actual busy stuff that y'all are gonna do so if you are interested let me know and I know you're gonna have a lot of time because you're at home doing school but I don't want this to take up a big chunk of your time um, you probably need your own switch and Nintendo online but if you somehow are miraculously quarantined with a friend then um, you could do that as well Let's see. Uh, other things going on this week. So today I did say we were going to start quote unquote uh, Twitch drops, which by the way, I know for some of you that actually follow streams on Twitch, they have a system for doing like bots that would do drops and things like that. I can't enable any of those because I don't monetize my channel. I, I don't want school and that to be related at all whatsoever. So I'm not a Twitch affiliate or anything like that. Um, so I'm just doing it myself. Uh, if you just randomly throughout the week, and it's not going to happen every day, but I'll just randomly, you know, I'll use a calculator on here and then I'll randomly pick somebody to, um, to get like a... I don't know, like five points on your homework or something like that. So, since today is the inaugural day of me doing that, I am going to pick a random person in chat, which is really easy because this morning, it's Monday morning, there's only one of you on. So, I am going to message this person. And we'll see if you're actually a student of mine. All right, so lucky mystery viewer who happens to be on right now because I don't know any of your Twitch names. Please respond to the message and you will get something. Couple points on a homework grade. Five, five points on a homework grade. And then if you don't respond, I can't do it, so. Okay, um, I guess let's try to respond to a couple of emails. I got a handful. I mean, I've already addressed all these people individually. You know, I always respond back just through email, but 
if there's a few that might benefit people if I address it publicly I'll go ahead and do that oh man so tired oh um extra credit group so for um checkpoint number two from uh, for, I mean you've already turned it in but I left feedback on every single person's um file of some kind uh you don't have to you don't have to fix it right now and resubmit it late. You don't have to do any of that. Um, the content that you put on checkpoint number two is going into your final paper. Uh, you just need to fix it before you get to your final paper because the, all the comments I put in are probably gonna be some things I watch out for as I use your rubric to grade. So that, that's the only reason I left all the feedback. You do not have to fix checkpoint number two. Everything is just check marks until we get to the end, until we get to the rubric. So. Uh, do not be too... Oh, sorry. Now that I'm thinking about this. Uh, dual credit. If any of you happen to watch this video or you are on right now, uh, you have to use Blackboard this time. I know there are three, four of you who are having issues with Blackboard, like logging in or you know, not knowing what to do because we didn't use it while you know much while we were in session. But now that you've had, you know, several weeks to get in contact with help desk and all that stuff, you have to submit your test on Blackboard. In fact, I think Blackboard's the only place you're going to get feedback. So please, please submit your test to Blackboard. You won't see a post yet. It's, it's hidden until Wednesday. But um, you have to use Blackboard and Google Classroom, just like last time. If you do not submit to both, you will get a zero. And that's pretty much a non-negotiable. Okay, I'll also put it in the video description and the post for today. All right. Okie doke. Um. So the person who won originally is not responding. So missed out on your quote-unquote Twitch drop. So I'm going to pull now that we actually have a. We actually have four people awake on a Monday morning. Look at that. All right. The only fair way to do this is I'm just using uh, the user list that's on my streamer uh, dashboard thing. We are going to pull up my calculator. The only fair way to do randomness, right? And I'm going to pull up a random person by using a random number generator. Oh, so somebody just logged off. So hey, one of you lucky two. It is number two. All right. Okay, so if you are actually paying attention, please respond to the message and you will get a small bonus on one homework assignment as a thank you for being awake and actually watching the stream live. Hey, well, thank you for the response and All right, so I will fix a grade that has been submitted. So, there you go. Oh, um for those of you that will actually watch this video later, uh, we won't do drops more than one time a day. Probably we'll just randomly do one every day. But uh, also, I don't know if I'm going to put limits on how many you can win because you know it's random. So there's a chance the same person could win like four or five times. Uh, unlikely, but it could happen. So I'll probably start putting limits on a couple of couple of people. We'll see how it goes. 
okay. Um, uh, getting back to email questions that I've had. Okay, we talked about checkpoint two. You don't need to fix it on Google Classroom. Just fix it before you turn in your paper. Um, I want to address this one more time, even though, you know, for people that have done what they needed to, they've already fixed everything. Um, I still have been getting a couple of emails about, hey, my progress report, for some reason, all my grades are whatever this number. Uh, why are they all the same? I know that I didn't turn this one in or whatever. Uh, that's because you haven't done this yet. So this is exam one from last six weeks, from the fifth six weeks. And uh, remember, we did that one before spring break. Uh, all of the grade, all of the weight categories, all of the weights on categories, sorry, have changed um, since we started online schooling. So the only way to keep the, the grade for your progress report legitimate, uh, and they won't let us adjust our own grade categories anymore. So I had to replace every assignment that you did for me before spring break. They All the grades got replaced with what your progress report grade was. Now, if you you know turned in papers really late, like on that Friday before spring break, or you just were absent for exam one, or you just did bad and you didn't have a chance to do a retest. So I took all of that into account. This one exam will count for everything. It will replace everything that was missing on your pre-spring break average. So you need to go ahead and do this test. So it is test one from last time. And that that number that is you know replacing every single thing on your um, student portal, whatever it's called on your end, uh, it'll get fixed. And you can still do it now, even for the fifth six weeks. We have been told in no uncertain terms that um, administration really prefers that teachers fix grades instead of having them do the I's and the incompletes and the projects and all that stuff. So I'm keeping this open till the rest of the school year. If you need to get it done, please get it done. All of you that need to get it done, you have responded to me via email, so I know you're alive. But uh, get it turned in, and your grade will be fixed. The only thing I will not give extensions on or anything like that are any of these checkpoints for the extra credit. Because, I mean, hence being extra credit. So extra credit deadlines are non-negotiable dual credit tests non-negotiable everything else turn in just when you can the the deadlines are basically your deadlines to get a hundred on the problem on the assignment you can't get a hundred if you don't turn it in on time okay um, so yeah we talked about blackboard let's check some other emails Yeah, so don't worry about turning stuff in too late. Just please turn it late. Just turn it in. Um, I've gotten a couple. I guess I'm just going to address this now just publicly. If you have a question on an assignment, which, I mean, it's understandable, right? The video is not going to cover everything. The numbers change. Sometimes problems get weird. If you have a question on an assignment, please actually directly email me or log on live during the morning and then ask. You know, like right now, not that too many of you wake up at 8 a.m., but um, just putting a tiny little private comment on your post as you submit, it doesn't notify me live when that happens. So, I mean, I might, it might get lucky and I might be uh, have it open while you happen to comment, but I'm not going to see that comment until like I start grading those papers sometimes. So please don't do that. Email me directly. I can address it right away. I can answer all your questions. I just need to know that you have a question. So I had a couple there, and then I, I did get back to you all within a day, but still, you know, I, I would hate to miss one of those questions because of that. Um, other things, if you haven't heard, it's official. We're out for the rest of the school year. So we are doing this, which means, I mean, I don't know what they've said about graduation. I mean, for sure we're not having it in person. I don't know if they're coming up with alternative plans or not. So seniors, I know. I'm sorry. I know that's a kind of a bummer. Let's see. Um, okay. I think that, yeah, that covers all the emails that I've had. All right. So if you have any 
other questions, please let me know. Precal, you have your test to work on. Submit that when you can. And then the schedule is a little weird this week, so hopefully uh, y'all have seen this already. But no lecture today, no lecture tomorrow, no lecture on Wednesday. Your uh, high school precal, your lecture is on Thursday this week. So uh, be sure to either log in live or watch the video for that. Uh, question in chat, is there going to be a final for dual credit? Yes, there is. I will talk about it as soon as y'all's exam three is over on Wednesday, but just to give you a preview, you're actually gonna be taking it on my math lab. Uh, there's a f several reasons for that. One is, you know, since it's a, a final, it's a little more secure that way. The other reason is Lee College is making me sh uh, submit that report for my final exam. They don't care about the exams in the middle, but. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. And unless anyone has any other questions. So yeah, there is gonna be a final exam. It'll be on the normal week of finals for Lee College and it will be on my math lab. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, shut off the recording at least. Uh, I'll hang around if anyone has any other questions. Oh, <laughs> other question I got, not an email, but just uh, in chat a couple of, or last week, is uh, why aren't I streaming any games? Uh, there was a complaint about it. So I'm just not even going to deal with it. I know it's my personal stream, yada, yada, whatever. I'm just not going to deal with it. So uh, when the summer hits, when, quote unquote, the technical last day of school hits, I will probably be streaming lots of games, but I'm going to save it till the school year's over. Okay. All right. Let's shut off this recording.